Hello, today I am going to talk about uh, mm-hmm. data provider in test ng that will, will help you to write your automated test cases. Okay, as the name indicates, data provider means uh, uh, the way uh, so way to uh, provide data to your uh, test cases. When do we use data provider? Mm, suppose you have a test case that has a you need to run over and over again iteratively with same steps but uh, different sets of data. That's when a uh, uh, data provider will come into play. Uh, okay, uh, I shall show you a simple demonstration here how to use a data provider. Now, I have a simple test case basically it uh, goes to WordPress uh, dot com uh, login page and enters uh, username, passwords and um, clicks on the login button. Uh, I'm trying to validate the error messages that come when different uh, inputs are given to the username and password field basically. So, uh, I'll just get into it. Um, I will, uh, first thing, uh, data provider should uh, create a data provider uh, method. So, I'm going to use the annotation data provider. I'm going to say public. This should return an object to the array. Let's say get. I'm going to say it get data as the name for this method. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, create an object array. Object. Let's give the name credentials. Is it going to I'm going to create an array here, 2D array basically. Okay, let's return this. Credentials, okay. Okay, we'll give two sets of data here. That is uh, one with the valid username and empty password second one is the empty username and valid password okay now just to check whether things are working here i'm going to just print out this value just by driving this test case uh, let me just comment this for a while this is the setup part where it opens up the browsers so, okay, I'm going to print out uh, this uh, parameters that has passed by the data provider to the test case basically. To in order to get access to the data provider for this test case, we will have to provide some option for your uh, at the test uh, annotation. Uh, this okay, you can just along with this uh, at the uh, test ng test uh, at the test uh, annotation you have to provide this option data provider is equal to you have to write the name of the data provider method basically just give the name now the parameters you should know this the number of rows actually represents uh, the number of times you want to run this test case and number of columns that uh, will give you the number of parameters that is needed for this test case in this case is in this test case i'm passing two parameters here that is string both of them are strings i'm going to say string username and another parameter string password here okay let's just print them out print them out for now and see if it's working or not let's say user name I'm going to type something here. Okay, plus say password. Okay, let's see whether it's working. I'm going to run this R test case, uh, test ng test. See the output. Okay, as you can see, it has printed out our parameters. So that means our data provider is working correctly as expected. So let's let me just uh, remove the comment lines here. So as you can see, this is the username field I'm clearing first then sending the test uh, sending the then i should be sending this username here and i should be sending password here and please note this 
clear statement is uh, very important here uh, if you don't clear it uh, since you are running different test cases with the at least if you don't close the browser you will have trouble because it will, it will have the last enter value on, the, on their field okay I'm giving this dot slip here just for demonstration purpose just to wait for the page drop but if this is not recommended it's not a standard way of using wait okay uh, okay since uh, okay let me but there's one thing missing here assertion every test case should have an assertion but I can't write just one assertion here and hoping it will work for all the all types of uh, test all sets of uh, test data here because if I send, uh, enter username and empty password the error message will be different when compared to I will, uh, when I send empty username and uh, well, uh, some password the error messages will be different so usually you people you see people write only these two parameters as uh, data parameter that won't be enough you will have to give the actual result expected result along with your along with your test data basically that is a, a good way of writing using data provider so uh, let me just uh, see what are the error messages for these two cases the first case is valid username empty password so let me try that i'm going to give some username here i'm going to give the empty password i'm going to click on login what is the error message the, this is the error message the password field is empty okay i'm going to add one more parameter here so okay i'm going to add within quotes next i'll come back and i will give the no username and i'll give some password and i will click on login well let's see what the error message will as you can see error message is different than the previous one so i'll write it here now i'll have to add one more parameter here i'm going to call string error message then I'm going to say I'm going to assert on the page source here. Try it out. Don't get page source. Sorry. Okay. Page source contains error message. So okay, let me just run the test and uh, with me see if this validation works fine i'm going to run i know it's testing test case okay i'm sorry i forgot to move the comment lines here okay it should launch the browser first i'm going to say run as test and test opens up the browser maximizes the browser goes to login page Okay. Enter the username, verify the as you can see it has verified both the cases here and both the cases have been passed. That is based on the error message for each test case. So uh, this this is very simple and straightforward. Okay, thanks for watching.